Hey guys, coming at you live from Pro Play Games. We got our PS4 case tournament winner, Eddie Isquiero, sponsored PPG player. Congrats, Eddie. Uh, what were you playing today, man? Uh, BAPK. BAPK, no winner cherries. No, not scared. <laughs> Better have it. Better have it. Uh, I guess off to the deck. Uh, first, uh, well, this format, I think you need three maxis in every deck just because the Cosmo Fire King deck, you don't want to add a lose to that. And because of the BA, the mirror match. And now people are playing extra deck Monarchs, so it's extra live against them. Uh, I play the, the Speedroid engine. Can't say enough about this engine, how good it is. It's, it's perfect in this deck, obviously. It sucks a little bit. This isn't the worst card. Like It is the worst card in the deck, but you can at least play it with a Levier and make the best out of a bad situation. I play Toriad, obviously. Uh, for the Phantom Knight engine, plays to... Uh, I really like the Phantom Knights. Uh, I think I don't really think a uh, pure BA is the way to go right now. So these guys really give you an advantage over the Cosmo matchup. Makes you get a thousand boost. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I want to mill these for the BA engine. Obviously, the mandatory. You can only play these, and then two Farfas. You need at least two. Two is a perfect number. And then for the toolbox, these four. This guy wins so many games, you need this for tin cans, for cosmos basically. Uh, that's it for the monsters, for the spells, the two limited ones, the tour lures. I love this card, I like digging through the deck and getting to these, because you're going to need these in a lot of matchups, especially the domain matchup. Domain of the monarch matchup, and these are the only traps I play. They're searchable, I don't like playing strike and stuff because they're not good in the mirror match and they're questionable against monarchs. Okay, uh, cool. For the extra deck. Two Beatrice, two Dantes. Everybody always questions me why I play two, but I never really need a third. If you really want to keep making Dantes, then you can just loop with two of them. So I don't really think you need more than two. Uh, I played three Brave Swords. This card is like this, the third most important card in the extra deck behind these. Uh, I do play a lot of Phantom Knights, so I do go through three a lot. Two Leviers. Once again, for the Phantom Knight engine, the card is really good. Uh, Nightmare Shark to steal games, F Zero to steal games. <laughs> this is the only questionable card in the extra deck, but it's my only out really to like a Majesty's if I don't have a Beatrice play. And it can come in handy in the late game and time and stuff. My two rank fours that I play are these two. These are the only two I think you need. The Dark Rebellion at Dragon, I never really liked it. This is good in the mirror match and against Monarchs, but it's also the boosting effect is really, really important. And this card is just MVP because it eats up Cosmos. It's like having a Dire Wolf main phase too. And then obviously the Pilgrim. And for the side deck, you need three Veilers for sure, I think, in this format, just for the domain Monarch matchup or any Monarch going second. You want to have something to stop their idea. So that's three on that, and uh, you, it's also really good now to the Fire King Cosmo deck. You can stop a Clutch Tin Can or a Straw Man. It really stuns them. Uh, the three Majesties for the, the Cosmo matchup also. You summon this. If they don't have Cosmo, they're really not going to have an out. Uh, two MSTs because I really need to get rid of Domain. <laughs> and then there's a lot of people playing the Clive the Midas deck now, so this also helps. You want to have outs to other Floodgates. Three anti spell. I like it over Masquerade Strict for Monarchs because they can't just pantheism them through the deck to find the Twin Twister. And it's, it's really good in the Pendulum matchups. So I won a ga um, game today against a Pendulum deck. He cherry blossomed me turn one, but since I had this, I just made Brave Sword and sat on that and I won. I play one Masquerade Strict, even though this is the better card, but I really hate Monarchs. And then I really hate Monarchs, so there's that too. <laughs> I hate Twin Twister also and Storm Forth. So these cards work well. If you draw Magic Deflector with either of those, you should win. And that's the side deck. All right, man. Well, congrats again. Uh, glad to see you win another one of our big tournaments. Um, can't wait to see what you guys do at Nationals. And uh, congrats again, man. Yep, thank you.